started. Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go! As we start our first playoff match, the things you want to watch during the first 15 seconds is this is all pre-programmed and autonomous. The human players are not touching the robots quite yet. They get points for leaving their community zones. That's the area right next to their drig. But also lots of bonus points for getting a level configuration at the end of their time. The Bull Lions are currently pulling ahead using that autonomous time. We've now moved into Teleoff where the human players have picked up their robots. The Blue Alliance, although they did get that balance, the ranking points don't matter anymore now that we're in the playoffs. They're trying to maximize their score to win this and move on to the next playoff match. Red Alliance on 461, waiting to place one cone in the upper part of the grid. That's worth five points for their alliance, five points for the top, three for the center, and two for the bottom. In qualifications, links were the name of the game, but now all you need is points. Links can get you those points, but there's other ways to acquire those. 74-54, 74-57, that's super duper working on their grade along with the Blue Alliance. The Blue Alliance is your eighth seed. They're the underdogs in this case, but they're holding strong in the competition so far. Here in Indiana, the teams can maintain. We're pretty close into the last couple seconds. A lot can change as we enter endgame. Just over a minute remaining in the match. 54-2, that's Reckless Robotics, making use of their human player station in the loading zone during the playoff portion of this match. That area is protected. Areas, only robots of that color can enter their loading dock area. 64-98, that's Castle Robotics. They're working their way across that diagonal part of the field. We have not seen much bumper on bumper contact yet. The Ride Alliance is pretty secure in their scoring so far, but a lot can change during the balancing portion of endgame. 16-46, Precision Guessworks attempting to place a cone in the center of their grid that would have scored them three points. Their business partner, 54-98, attempting to do the same now, except in the high grid, scoring five points for the Blue Alliance if they are successful. A few seconds remaining in the match, about 33 to be exact. We're about to enter end game and hear that train sound. There it is. We'll start to see teams migrating their way towards their charge station where they'll get additional points for leaving it in a level configuration. About 10 points for each robot that's up there on the switch. The Red Alliance has been known to do three. We'll see if they have enough time to do it. 15 seconds remaining in our match. The Blue Alliance working their way. Currently one in our level configuration. Red Alliance having two. That might be enough for them to score this game. Counting them down, three, two, one, and that's the end of your first playoff match. Here are your scores for call for playoff match one. Your winners are the Red Alliance. The Red Alliance is your first seed alliance. They'll advance to the upper bracket. We'll see them again in match seven. The eight alliance, the losers of the first match, will continue on to match five. If they lose again in their next match, they will be eliminated, but both teams are safe for now.